right median motor nerve conduction study. So, first thing we're going to do is measure 8 centimeters from the APB muscle. So I'm going to make a mark right in the center of the muscle. I'm going to go through the course of the nerve, through the carpal tunnel, to 8 centimeters. Make a little mark right there by the 8. Okay. Next thing, I'm going to place my electrodes. I'm going to put one right there on the middle of the muscle. One by the second digit, and the ground is going to go on the back of the hand. We'll hook up our leads. Red, the black one. Make sure this is right in the center of that muscle, and the green one on the back. The machine is on, and over here you see our levels at 30 milliamps. That's usually a good starting um, intensity for motor nerve. We're going to measure our distance here is 80 for the 8 centimeters. It's in millimeters. And we're going to stimulate right there. We put our black toward the black. And the shock. I didn't find it so I'm going to adjust slightly. Try on the other side of the tendon there and we have a good C map. So now we found it at 30 and we see our amplitude here. Our amplitude co corresponds with the height of the peak here. We're going to turn that up to about 45 and then hit it again and see if we can get a higher amplitude. And it didn't move. We were at 5.7 and we stayed at 5.7. So that's probably as high as we're going to get with Patty. So we can even turn that down a little bit go back to somewhere in between and now we're going to go up hit our down arrow here we're going to go and test this nerve at the elbow so the median nerve you'll find just uh, medial to midline we're going to again put the black in the crease bend her arm slightly so we can get it down in there on top of the on top of the nerve and hit it again and that's pretty good i'm going to turn the level up just slightly we see an amplitude of 5.7 it went to 5.3 it's pretty darn close the area under the curve also is pretty close, but I'm going to try with a little higher intensity, see if we can get an even better amplitude there to match. And it didn't change much. Our amplitude is the same, so we know we've maxed out. Last thing we're going to do is measure the distance from our initial stimulation site to the site that I just stimulated. I can still see the little uh, mark there where I was, and it looks like it's about 214, 214 millimeters. So I'm going to plug that in, and we see a conduction velocity of 54. When we check our normal values here, median motor typically has a conduction velocity 49 to 64. We're right in range. We're going to look at our peak latency, which is 3.9, which is right in our normal value range, and our amplitude, which is uh, normally between 3.2 and 23.2. She's right in that range there. So I would say this is a normal study.